your payment. Good times. Anytime <laughs> you need a friend. Cause this is what this reminds me of. I am so <laughs> sick of Queen Sugar. We were sitting here talking about it. And we were like, when are they going to bring back the Queen Sugar the, that, that we, we were, fell in love with? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's gone like way off the original script. <laughs> and I know y'all get tired of We hear y'all say it in the comments like... It's getting oh, damn right depressing. Ava, Oprah, whoever's listening, stop Help. it. Change it. It's, it's too depressing, man. Come it's, on. It's like being stuck. At your family reunion and you keep hearing stories about the same skit. Yeah. Over and over and over. And you're yeah. like. So the fans are saying they're the being greens. triggered. They tired of it. And y'all won't change it. You nope. Gotta, you got to change it, man. But we're going to get into it. It's yeah. Queen Sugar moving. Moving so easily through the common depth. So y'all know on last week they found some bones over on Ralph Angel's land, right? So this week we come to terms that the judicial system is all bucked up. They backed up. You know, same thing that don't happen to all of the court systems. They backed up due to COVID. So even if they have anything, it's going to take a very a long, long time, time for anything to be heard out at this point. That's good and it's bad. Because like the family said, this is just more opportunity that they can take to drive Ernest's name through the mud right now. So we over there at Prosper's house and we see that Mr. Prosper is really just downright nasty to Billy. <laughs> Like, I don't like Billy, but I don't also like this nasty part of Mr. Prosper. What happened to Mr. Prosper that was singing last week? That was, that was all cheesing up in the nurse's face. But he always, he liked that with everybody is. He is a, he is an honorary old man when he needs to be. Yeah. But yeah, like, <laughs> Billy was trying to, you know, you know, bought you some muffins that's a little lower in sugar. Don't you tell no older person that you, you try to cut. low sugar organic muffins? Oh, you what? just you just cussed him out. <laughs> you cussed him out. You should have just said, Daddy, I got you some good, delicious cupcakes. You need to try them out. Don't let them know what kind of cupcakes. Uh-uh, right. nope, nope. Uh-uh, because like you said, you cussed them out. Don't cut their sugar. Don't cut their salt. And you be all right. And don't but, cut out their service at church. But you should have got them a curate, though. Uh-uh. I'm glad she, she didn't get the cure it because he went smooth off about that Mr. The coffee. I ain't got no money. I'm going to fix it. it so I'm sitting here like, how do you make your coffee now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, please don't tell me you're doing instant folders now. Instant. You know. Yeah. You know. Oh, instant. no. Yep. Instant Maxwell. I ain't gonna lie, that's what my stepdaddy used to do. I used to love that kind of coffee. So Until I you got the real stuff. Uh-huh. Now you can't do nothing with that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so Billy, her feelings was so hurt about why he, you know, how he said that to her. She was like, you know, I'm gonna take this back, take it back to the store. Since she, pretty much since you don't appreciate it, and I'll get you the muffins that you want the next time, okay? So over there at Ralph Angel and Dollar's house, Ralph Angel tells Dollar that. He wants to start working with Theo. Theo was on the up and up. He... <laughs> we gonna work some shifts. First of all, I want to see a business license. That's what you should have asked for, Dollar. Where's his business license? Can we go ahead and pull that up online? Cause all that's online. Like, can we pull it up? Cause I need to know what it is that you're into. Well, we see that Ralph Angel goes to see Theo, and he's like, "I need a rundown on what this, what this, this run is all about." Like, what is it? What does it entail? So, Ralph Angel didn't really give Theo a yes. But Theo really gave Ralph Angel a yes. He told him, if you're scared, if you're not ready to do this, then here you go. A whole lot of money on me. Don't even worry about it. Take care of your family. I said, no, you just bought him bought him even further. Yeah. The gig. Yeah. Real talk. So, later on, we see that Ralph Angel actually did meet up with Theo. But before Theo pulled up in a Benz. No, no, BMW. He was um saying a prayer to God, and he was like, "God, you know, you know how we do when we talk to God." I try not to judge Ralph because everybody. But I it. understand, you know, he was like, you know what? I just, you know, I need to do this one thing wrong because so I need this. Cause I, right. Yeah, because I need this result. So I think we all have been there praying, God, you know, ask God yeah. to cover our to mess. to cover the mess, to mm -hmm. cover our mess. <laughs> and, and bad thing about it is, he do it sometimes. Yeah, he do it sometimes. He let you go for a long time, but then. <laughs> Snatch the rug off of for you. <laughs> so Ralph Angel gets out and Theo says, Change your plans. One of my guys didn't show up. So instead of you just driving the van, I'ma need you to load it as well. I he was gonna load in the first place, man. 
That was the original plan. That yeah. was. And the reason why I said it because when they was in the truck where he was asking about further about the job, he was, he was like, "I'm the you, you. I only got a few people that I can trust, and I can count them on one hand. And you and, want and you want them." So, if you can only count them on one hand, that means that you slim pickings in who you can choose to come and help you. So, Ralph was the only one going to be there anyway. Anyway, because you mean to tell me that the people that you trust is just all in the same town? Right. No, they're not. <laughs> so, Ralph Angel ended up going in there, and he kept saying that he heard something and hears somebody. And I was like, first of all, if you're going to do something like that, you're easily identifiable. Yeah. Why don't you just cover your face? Or why you ain't wearing a COVID mask? Right. At this point, I mean, <laughs> come on here. Yeah, because you know the Landers already know what you look like. They already know who you are. So if they see you on camera, you done. You done done. So flipping over before we get to that other part, we see Dollar. Dollar goes over there to um, Vise, and she has the conversation with Vise. She was like, listen, I'm worried about Ralph Angel. Um, I was like, you know what? You know me and my nephew not on good terms right now, but tell me more. Because <laughs> this, this ain't got nothing to do with our relationship right now. It's family business. What's going on? And she said, you know, I'm really scared. You know, we're up to our eyeballs in debt. But I got some money. You know, I have this nest egg of money that I have access to. And he too prideful to let us use it. But it's still, we don't have any money. Vi gave her the best advice that she could give a woman. I'm trying to tell you. I don't told people for many, 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 many years. I don't care how happy you are. Have you a stash of money? Put away. <laughs> and Vi said, listen, I, I got two accounts. I don't know nothing about, about. about. <laughs> He probably know about them, but he don't care. <laughs> Here's the thing. Most people know we got them. They don't, just don't care. <laughs> so I said, okay, so how is that going to work when bills are starting to get paid? And there's no explanation of where the money came from. Okay, yeah. whatever. He gonna put two and two together. Yeah. So we see Ralph Angel driving away from the scene of the crime, literally. And all we see in here are these police lights. I was like, I said, oh, oh hell. no. I said, this Negro is going right back to jail. So oh. he pulls over. And I'm like, y'all can't even disguise the boxes better than that. I mean, names plastered <laughs> on the boxes. You couldn't put a quilt on it like a moving quilt <laughs> or something. Like, I'm not trying to tell you I know how to do stuff like this. That's what it sounded like right now. It sounded like you done did a couple of them jobs. <laughs> hey, my whole family is it's a bunch of con artists, man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. <sighs> it's in the blood, but I ain't did that skit. But I know about it. So let's go over there and talk about Charlie real quick. <laughs> if Rod or Die was a person, listen, she don't had her run in with black Twitter. I, I knew they was going to send the smoke out. Oh, I already told y'all that. Oh, yeah. It's like, you know, I know y'all in love, but can you handle the, the smoke and fire that people going to throw at you? So she's in her feelings, as she should be. Yeah. And she's kind of just like <clears throat> in that thing of like, what do I do? Am I sorry that I put this out? Am I going to be able to ride this thing out? Like, whatever. So she sitting at home and Micah comes through. And her and Micah actually just has a conversation about what both of them are going through. She was like, I'm stressed. I got everything going on with the land, the bones found found on the land. I got these lawsuits going on with the black farmers <laughs> that keep turning on me every time they get a chance. Right. I, we never talk about them. And I got this thing going on with your daddy. It, yeah, it's a lot going on. So then Micah comes and tells her that, you know, I've been having some anxiety at school as well like what happened to mr prosper which we still have not talked about in detail right i mean it's just, like just like it happened past, yeah. he went to the hospital he's home but nobody's talking about no action like what we gonna do well they probably tired but like you know taking action you know the course it doesn't is do all, anything it's all backed up and stuff so and they don't do nothing no way but right. take your money and lawyer fees exactly and, so you know like he said he was like um Dealing with anxiety with my incident with the police and things like that. So, you know, pretty much telling her, you ain't the only one going through some skit. I'm going through some skit as well. So, what else I want to talk about? Celine. <laughs> Over there at the house, I said, Vi, do what you do for this girl if it's in your heart to do so. But keep this girl out your house. Because the one thing that we know for sure, hero syndrome is a mother bucker. Mm -hmm. And right now, Hollywood is the hero to all things Gabriel right now. Right. And the way to a mother's heart is through Ooh, her children. children. Yep. So, you know, 
And and Hollywood is doing what Hollywood does. He has a heart of gold. He's <clears throat> playing with the little boy. He's he's really connecting and vibing with him. He's playing basketball. He's getting interested in basketball. Just different stuff like that. So they're over at the house eating dinner and whatnot. And, you know, having a good meal. Gabriel's eating his greens. I said, I know that's right. It would not. So Hollywood and Gabriel excuse themselves from the table. They go out there to play basketball. And Celine tells Unvi, you know, I've gone ahead and started my proceedings for my divorce. And Unvi was like, you know, good job. But then she tells her, like, listen, what you and Hollywood got is something special, honey. Uh huh. I wish that we can bottle that yep. up and sell, sell it. it. So I you said, be say you be rich. I said, get her awesome. uh -huh. out of your house. <laughs> So, I know that Aunt Vi started feeling some kind of way about the connection that um, Hollywood and Gabriel had. Not because of the connection, but because of what it is that she hasn't given him. And she can't give him. Right. So, when, um, when she went to drop them off back at the motel, she comes back and she pretty much has a conversation mm -hmm. with Hollywood. Like, you've changed. Like, you're different. Like, and it's not a bad thing, but you do know that... This is not a life that I could ever give you. Like, we're not having children. There's nobody that's going to continue with your last name to leave a legacy behind. I said, well, he could, you could have had <laughs> last name, but you ain't taking last name. Well, he um, said it wasn't no big deal, but, I felt, like, but I felt like that was just so he wouldn't hurt our feelings. Yeah. And move on. It wouldn't lie because he wanted kids. He wanted kids, don't he? I don't know. If I don't remember, I thought he... If I don't remember, if y'all remember, I think he said he wanted kids. I don't I can't know. remember. But... So I'm sitting here like, oh, God, this is. <laughs> and then when I looked at next week's preview, I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. what I what what I took but, and told but we know, you. But we know clips is a motherfucker, too. They, they, yeah. They, yeah, they can make you say whatever they want to say. What are uh, what they call it? Uh, the highlights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they let you see whatever you want. So let's still talk about Micah. Micah and his friend, Bruno Mars. Um, <laughs> you got him, but Bruno. <laughs> so. I told y'all something about something about to happen, y'all. Y'all gonna be good to me. <laughs> Old boy comes over there to Micah's dorm, and he's checking out the fact that Micah has his photography up on his laptop. He was like, "Oh, I ain't know that's what yeah, you did, you and know, you were, you're really good at it." He was like, "Hold on, why don't you take some shots of me because my social media's be dry. Like I should be getting hit on way more than I'm getting hit on right now." So. They went ahead and went ahead and did that. And then later on, we saw that old boy took a test that he wasn't too sure about. So Micah said, you know what? If you ever need somebody to talk to, you can talk to me like you were there for me mm -hmm. when I needed somebody to talk to. So they embraced with the hub. Nothing wrong with the hub. But it was some two mm -hmm. other guys yeah, coming saw, yeah. down the hall. And they was looking like... Yeah. What is this mess that's going on here? So he kind of pushed back a little bit, but I'm like, Micah, you don't realize that Bruno is pushing up on you? I think he realizes. I don't know if Micah realizes it I, just I, yet. I think he do. I think he kind of so? realizes it. But, yeah. So, <laughs> let's talk about Nova. Lord have mercy. Nova don't got old boy to bring her some rolling papers. And she don't got to thinking way too much. Because you know it makes you real focus. I don't know about it. And um, out of that smoke section, I guess she don't came up with this bomb article mm -hmm. that she has written. But she ended up letting Billy like kind of proof it and get her stamp of approval to see if this was worthy of putting in true papers. So Billy was like, this, this is, is good. This is this really is good. good. But... Are you sure about that? You know you're about to ruffle the boys and yeah. blues feathers. And we already got smoke over there. Is this what you really want? Right. So I said, Nova, what did you do? And, and like, I'm like... What did you do? I'm like, I appreciate you, you know, what you're doing and everything. But your timing is like really bad All right now. All the way off. Like, they already investigating these bones. And then you're going to put <laughs> a true paper about the police that's trying to... Mess with you. Mess your family right now. So you just like... I, I, Nova... I, I don't know. It's yeah. Nova. It's Nova. She pisses us off every season. Every season. <laughs> so, Nova, mm. evidently, she publishes it. And it does what it was that she wanted it to do. It seems as if the investigation into the... 
I was like, what happened here? Yeah. <laughs> Like, did I? But I, don't know, but I don't know if the paper did that. I think it was her research all in when she was talking to the person that was doing the research. On okay, the it could have been. I don't think the paper did that. I thought it was her. I don't know because they, I was like, I'm half sleeping. Because this they found the bone was like 150 years old. So yeah, that's so, way older than her dad. <laughs> yeah. So it couldn't have been anything that had anything to do with what she wrote in her book. So boom. If the glove don't quit, don't fit, you must have quit. Yeah, so I got a feeling since the bone was like 150 years old, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's some slave bones. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty so sure. we have a, before we get to the celebration. See, this right here, I'm going to piss some of y'all off. This right here is why black people can't come ahead or we always get caught when we do something wrong. Because the money can't get cold in our pocket for 33 seconds. Yep. We got to do something. We ready something. to ball out. <laughs> Ralph Angel comes home. And he tells Dollar, listen, Dollar, uh, I think we should go on a baby boom. What the hell you know about a baby boom? <laughs> you, just, you just read that on somebody's Google. <laughs> on Yahoo. What do you know about a baby boom? He said they got they got a jacuzzi, fireplace, fireplace, a walk-in shower. You got bills. Yeah. Dollar said y'all up to y'all eyeballs and payday loans. He talked about so, but we 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 but, we we need this. You know our honeymoon was cut short. I get all but you of know, that. But you know how we do it. We like you know what when when I come up and I get a little extra money, I'm gonna start paying down this debt. Until, until, the, until the money comes and all changes, then we're like, nah, you know, we gonna ball out, we getting a new car, we 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 taking a vacation over in Jamaica, man, we doing it up. Matter of fact, like Ralph said, because we deserve this. this. <laughs> I said, see, this is this uh -huh. is why we can't <laughs> yeah. get it. And Dollar was like, how can you afford it? Oh, we worked a double last night, and I'm gonna work another no shit. Like, no, you just told Leo back at the thing that this was it. You, you told one the and done. You one told and the done. Lord. You told with one and, yeah, told the Lord with you one told and the Lord. Lord. Done. You got one shot. The law said I covered this one, but I ain't covering this one. <laughs> I ain't got you. We say you on your own path. Uh huh. You on? Yep. I said, oh no. So then we see that the borderline family is together and they're celebrating over some wine, and I'm like, the hell is going on here? Well, evidently, like we said, it don't came up that they can't do nothing about the bones. 150 years old. So now Ralph Angel looks over there at Nova and say, but is there a way we can find out who those bones, bones belong, belong to? to? Yeah. yeah. So Nova had that look in her eye like she knows something that she probably shouldn't know. But at this point, Nova, keep your goddamn mouth shut. <laughs> keep your mouth, <laughs> not your mouth, mouth, mouth shut. Don't say nothing. Don't whistle. Don't text. Don't tweet. Don't said, make an IG story. Said just smoke your weed. Just smoke your weed and shut the entire bar. But <laughs> yeah. so we don't need no more problems for the family. We don't. So next thing we know, we see her neighbor bring over some more rolling papers. I'm like, like how, how much weed did you, you smoke? smoke? <laughs> but that wasn't really what she wanted. She really wanted, well, she probably wanted the weed papers too. But she wanted him to come over because... She wanted to get some more information about the bones that was found. And he said, if I can't do it myself, I know the people that can. Down at the college, You're just going to have to give me some time. But in the meantime and in between time, you want to go for a run? I said, yeah, y'all about to be smashing in 33 seconds. Just as quickly as Ralph H. is going to spend all this money up, y'all going to be smashing. Yeah, so bad as I want Nova to find love, even if she get in a relationship with that dude, she going she gonna gonna to gonna find, she gonna find a way to sabotage it. Mm -hmm. She really is. Yeah. So the last thing we're going to talk about is um, Prosper and Billy. When we were over there at um, Hollywood Spot, they were just having a little casual conversation. It was him, Hol um, Prosper Ralph, Hollywood, Ralph, Ralph, Ralph Angel, Angel. Yeah. having a casual conversation about Aunt Vi. And <laughs> Mr. Prosper said, is Aunt Vi mad, mad at me? me? <laughs> Hollywood said, I mean, yeah, Hollywood said, you know what? I don't even know. She ain't saying nothing to me. You're probably the only person she's she not, not mad, mad at, at right now. <laughs> so it came down to, you know, them telling Mr. Prosper, listen, God don't gave you another chance for a reason. Don't worry about what Aunt Vi feeling or how she feeling about Nathan. 
said she be all right. You just need to get that straight with your daughter. Whatever that is, you got a chance to make that right and make it right right now. I like that, but at the same time, why other people got to tell you to settle your debt with people? That makes me so angry <laughs> that other people <clears throat> have to tell you to settle your debt with people. Yeah. Why? Why? Is it when nothing you, built when, into you? When you know you're supposed to. When you know. The opportunity is in your face to settle it with them. And you're like, oh, mm, oh okay. But I'm just taking I'm just taking a guess that I, I think it's the fear of rejection. That if I step out and try to do this, it's not going to work. But in his I case, but in his case though, she's been receptive. She's been, she yeah. been trying. So most pop people don't try because they get rejected. So he gets home <clears throat> and we see... Billy is cleaning up the house, and evidently she don't use the whole bottle of pine salt. Nah, she has some Fabuloso. Come on now. <laughs> no, she, she, Mr. Hollywood's house was pine salt. <laughs> pine salt. So he was like, oh, you smell like you've been really clean. And she said, I don't went overboard. I'm sorry. Next time I'll do better. And they got to chatting because earlier he was teasing her about stealing from the girl, from the latest um, shop. Yeah. And what it was that she stole. And she kept saying, I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been so long ago. So he said, no, she ended up saying, Daddy, it was donut holes. And he said, yes, it was. It was donut holes. And you would sit there and eat them for breakfast if we let uh -huh. you. <laughs> and he ended up telling her, he said, you know, you were just a child. You didn't know you no about it. You were just, you were just you testing them out. And he was like, you know, you always, you know, you always walk to the beat of your own drum. Like you always were your own person. And I'm sorry that I tried to make you into what I wanted you to be. And I'm like, so what was she though? Yeah. Yeah. Like what and was sorry she? That, sorry I didn't love you the way that, that you that needed to be loved. loved. So I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm getting I'm, that part maybe I'm, with the Jimmy Dale Jim, That's thing. what I'm thinking with the Jimmy Dale because, But yeah. I'm like, what happened that. Yeah. We need to back you, more backstory on that. Yeah. That yeah. you. Like, you feel like you were trying to box her in. Like, what was she? I told y'all. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But they ended up having a kumbaya moment. And, you know, they told each other that they loved them and whatever. But usually when scenes like that happen, I'm like in tears. Especially if I see a man cry. I ain't feel nothing. I think it's because you ain't got the backstory of like how, what's, what happened. What, yeah. Other than the Jimmy Dale thing. Um, We don't, we don't know. We yeah, because she's acting like this was like... Like her entire childhood. Yeah, like he like, wasn't there. But they was talking like, hey, we used to go to the store and all that. And, the, you know, they talk about some of the memories. But, uh, yeah, where is the where was the disconnect? Yeah, so I think we hit everything that we needed to hit. It really wasn't much. I think it's going to really, it's going to heat up next week. So, hopefully, I ain't got to come in here with my good time song next week. <laughs> hopefully. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. To up, to down. Hello!